Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and this evening. We thank you so much for your participation and your time with us. These are the first three paragraphs of a short story written by James Mercer Langston Hughes, brought into this world February 1st, 1992, in Joplin, Missouri. He made his exit and passed from this earth on May 22nd, 1967. His short story is entitled Bodies in the Moonlight. Sailors call it the Fever Coast that two or three thousand miles from West Africa, of West Africa, from Senegal to Luanda. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. For four weeks, now our ship had been anchored in the stream loading cocoa beans. There had been some mix-up in the schedule, and the old man had no orders to move on. Six of our men had been sent ashore with tropic fever to the European hospital. The potatoes were running out, and the captain no longer issued money to his mixed crew. The sun blazed by day, and the moon shone at night, and more men fell ill with the fever or develop venereal diseases. And there, and there, our steamer lay tossing wearily in the blue water, a half mile off the coast beyond the beating surf. At 18, when one is a rover, the world is wonderful. I was a mess boy on my first trip to sea. I had thrown all my school books overboard, and for several months, I had not written to my parents. People I had known as a boy had not been kind to me, I thought. But now, I was free. The sea had taken me like a mother, and a friendship named West Ilana had become my home. Thank you.